wonderful world of Disney. From Pirates of the Caribbean to Tomorrowland. Disney's Magic Kingdom, Disneyland. I'm Marcia Miner, a traveling ambassador for Disneyland. But today it's great to be right here at home because our show is something extra special at Disneyland Entertainment. Here in the Magic Kingdom, we have several important traditions that are part of the special magic of Disneyland. The most famous is a wish Walt Disney made the day Disneyland opened when he said, Disneyland will never be completed as long as there is imagination left in the world. Walt Disney's wish has come true almost every year, and new shows and adventures and whole new lands for your enjoyment. On this program, Mickey and I will introduce you to some of Disneyland's newest and most exciting attractions. The fabulous Pirates of the Caribbean, New Orleans Square, the People Mover, the Carousel of Progress, and the all-new Tomorrowland. <laughs> Well, you can see we have almost a whole new Disneyland to show you, so we better get started. Even at Disneyland, it takes a long time, sometimes years, to make a dream come true. In 1965, Walt Disney brought another Disneyland ambassador, Julie Ream, to our Imagineering department and described his plans for the attractions you're going to see today. Now, that big hole that we talked about earlier, well, this is what's going to go in that big hole. This is what we call New Orleans Square. And here's a picture of it from the riverfront as it will look when it's finally finished. And all these little streets are going to be very intriguing, little shops and things, and people can wander around in there. And then in here, we have a special attraction. We call it the uh, Blue Bayou Lagoon. People are going to get on a boat here, ride through the lagoon, and then as they get around here, we're going to take them down a waterfall and take them back into the past, into the days of the, the pirates, you know, where they, the whole Caribbean area was full of pirates and they were always sacking towns and things. You believe in pirates, of course. Oh, yes. Oh, you want to see some? Love to. Right over here. We'll meet them. I think uh, this little miniature here is taken first from a sketch. We make these sketches to figure out the types and the characters. This will animate when we have it in the show, you know. You have some more? I real. Now, these sketches here have to do with some of the things that are going to happen when you take this cruise with, with the pirate's uh, domain. Here's one here. Here's a pirate laden with loot. He's trying to escape. He's got one foot on the dock and one foot on a rocky boat. But, you know, as the people go by, they see him. He's struggling and everything. Good luck to him. <laughs> well, he can't make it. Or the show would go to pieces, you see. He has to stay there all the time and see, keep trying to get away. Now we'll go around and see the town that the pirates are sacking. It's right over here. Here are the pirates that you're ransacking and carrying away loot. Now over here, Julie, is the town. This is a Caribbean town at the period. And if you get down here and look to that little ring, you get the view that the audience gets. Now here, you see the pirates are dunking the mayor into the well, trying to force him to reveal the hiding places of the town treasure. The audience will be seeing this from a boat, you know, and all the characters will be life-size and lifelike in their movements. These fellows have found the town's rum supplies, but they're actually more interested in what's taking place across the river. Here, their shipmates are auctioning off the town beauties. And there's the biggest bargain of all. That is absolutely fantastic. Well, that's only part of it. We got a big climatic scene. But how could you top it? Well, we set the place on fire. And we have our audience trapped down in this flaming city. Well, how can they get out then? Well, now you got into this mess by going down a waterfall. Now, how would you suppose we get them out of there? 
By going up the waterfall? That's right. Anything's possible at Disneyland. Oh. Yes, anything's possible at Disneyland. And everything in Disneyland began as an idea at a unique branch of the Disney organization called Wed Enterprises. Here, the skills of the sculptor and the talents of many artists combine to create the amazing audio-animatronic cast of the Pirates of the Caribbean. For their parts in the show, even the boldest buccaneer was groomed and dressed in his Sunday best. And here's part of the cast of 66 life-size pirates and their ladies. A lineup worthy of the name, Rogues Gallery. New ideas for Disneyland are first visualized in artists' renderings like this overall view of the new Tomorrowland area. The painting begins to take on form and dimension with construction of a scale model detailing every attraction. Here's the towering rocket pylon. The cars of the people mover. The colorful new bandstand. This scale model represents more than five acres of new attractions in Tomorrowland. Inside these buildings are shows and exhibits presented by half a dozen of America's leading companies. Along this elevated guideway, the people mover cars travel past Tomorrowland's two huge theme murals, each 15 feet high and 54 feet long. Here, artist Mary Blair has combined the free spirit of children at play and a symbolic sun to express the theme, energy. These artisans are translating her drawings into one-foot square pieces of ceramic tile. In its completed form, this mural will contain more than 2,000 individual hand-painted tiles. Tomorrowland is also the home of a complete model city of the future. Even in its formative stages, it captured the rush hour spirit of a modern metropolis. This animated community is authentic, right down to its landscaping. Wed artisans hand-planted 20,000 shrubs and trees, constructed more than 4,500 buildings, and built a complete amusement park in painstaking miniature. chance to lose his way in this model city. What WED does is often called Imagineering, the blending of creative imagination with technical know-how. The audio animatronic performers in the Pirates of the Caribbean show are an example of Imagineering at work. As its name implies, audio animatronics begins with sound. Recorded on tape, the sound can be played back at any time, always on cue. The coined word animatronics represents a special kind of three-dimensional animation. Here's a rehearsal for the scene where the town mayor is dunked in the well every 20 seconds all day long. The third key to audio animatronics is the electronics of the space age. Using complex equipment and systems, these specialists are programming every movement of every pirate, and also the more subtle movements of their prisoners. When all three processes, sound, animation, and electronics, were finally combined and synchronized, the pirates began to come to life. Meanwhile, other craftsmen were preparing the scene of battle for the arrival of the buccaneers. Canvas sails began to show the signs of battle, bullet holes and gunpowder burns. The old Caribbean town was given an aged look, with the usual care and precision. And finally, it was almost time for the pirate crew to set sail. But first there was one more journey, perhaps the most dangerous of all. The trip from Webb to Disneyland on the Southern California freeways.
average destination is close by Disneyland's own muddy Mississippi. Here all sizes and shapes of ships sail, from the majestic stern wheeler Mark Twain to the mighty three-masted vessel Columbia. New Orleans Square, the new home of the pirates, is located at a bend of the river, just a few steps from the landing where the Mark Twain and Columbia dock. With its ornate woods and lacy iron grillwork, New Orleans Square stands above all the lands in Disneyland for sheer elegance of design and the faithful recreation of another age. If this looks like a page out of an old New Orleans photo album, who's planned that way? This is the Queen of the Delta she looked a century ago when cotton was king and steamboats ruled the Mississippi. Here in Disneyland, New Orleans Square is the first entirely new land built since the Magic Kingdom opened in 1955. As Walt Disney said, New Orleans Square is a place where you can wander down winding streets and roam through picturesque courtyards. You can dine here in a restaurant where moonlight shines all day long or shop for rare antiques at the one-of-a-kind shop. At Mademoiselle Antoinette's perfume shop, ladies may even blend their own exclusive brand of perfume. And of course, New Orleans Square can never be well New Orleans without a marching band playing the toe-tapping sounds of Dixieland jazz. studio, we've always been partial to pirate stories. You remember my friends, Captain Hook and Mr. Smee from Peter Pan? New Orleans was once the home of real live pirates, like the notorious Jean Lafitte. So what better place for the Pirates of the Caribbean show than right here? Opening day was dark and dreary, the kind of day that would have brought a ray of sunshine into the hearts of Blackbeard or Long John Silver. At the Columbia, the newspaper and television reporters were out in force to cover the grand opening, armed to the teeth with pencils and cameras. Hardly a fair match for a swashbuckling band of buccaneers armed with pistols and cannons. prelude to pleasure on shore. With the Columbia's crew of reporters and photographers safely in tow, there was only one more hurdle for the pirates to overcome.
the spoils. A voyage on the high seas with the wildest crew that ever sacked the Spanish main, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Seek an adventure in salty old pirates, eh? Sure, you come to the proper place. But keep a weather eye open, mates, and hold on tight. With both hands, if you please. <laughs> greedy beholders of this bewitched treasure. Perhaps he knows too much. He's seen the cursed treasure. You know where it be hidden. Now proceed at your own risk. These be the last friendly words you hear. You may not survive to pass this way again. some wench. Shift your cargo, dearie. Show them your larboard side. We watch the red end. We watch the red end. We watch the red end. Strike your colors, you brazen wench. No need to expose your superstructure. And now, you bilge rats, do I hear six? Who makes it six? Six bottles of rum. I'm not sponging for rum. It be gold I'm after. We want the red head. Where'd you scum? There they are. We want the red head. Yes, 
see she were. <laughs> oh, I tell you true, it's sore I be to oyst me colors on the likes of that shy little wench. <laughs> Willing to share, I be. <laughs> Tomorrowland, the world of the future, seemed more science fiction than actual fact. Even today's household word astronaut had not yet been coined. When the 1960s arrived, the world of today began to catch up with Disneyland's world of tomorrow. So Walt Disney and our Imagineering department began to create an all-new Tomorrowland. And here it is today in Disneyland. On the gala day it opened, Tomorrowland's concept and spirit were symbolized by these dedication words from Walt Disney. Tomorrowland, 
a vista into a world of wondrous ideas signifying man's achievements, a step into the future with predictions of constructive things to come. It was a news cameraman's field day, and they used every vantage point to cover the grand opening activities. Mickey was dressed for the occasion, and although he never got off the ground, this spaceman did. This is one ride you won't find in your ticket book today. But remember, this is Tomorrowland. And who knows, nothing's impossible at Disneyland. stop moving, even while passengers board and disembark from a rotating platform. Just beyond the People Mover station is the new mural featuring old Mr. Energy himself. It was designed for intermediate speed transportation within cities. The cars have no motors. Power is supplied from a series of motors embedded in the track. So no single car can ever break down and cause a rush hour traffic jam. Someday a system like this may even pass through the downtown buildings in your community. Just as it travels through Tomorrowland's pavilions today. Tomorrowland is not just the realm of outer space. One of the most unusual new attractions is the adventure through inner space. A true life scientific adventure into the world of atoms and molecules. These cars are called atommobiles. Aboard them, Disneyland guests ride through a giant microscope and experience the sensation of shrinking as they explore the vast universe inside a snowflake. sight on this transportation system that never stops is inside the character shop. It's the modern way to window shop. Flight to the Moon, in the Mission Control 
center, you can watch a rocket take off on a trip to outer space. Inside the cabin of the rocket ship, you'll experience the thrills of a moon flight without any of the danger. There's a screen below to show the blast off and to see where you've been. Another screen above shows where you're going. Destination, the moon. The flight to the moon takes place sometime in the future, when travel to outer space will be an everyday adventure. In the mission control center, with telescopic cameras and special electronic equipment, the audio animatronic crew can even show you a scientific team exploring the surface of the moon. good-sized crater on a geological survey. I've been taking pictures of the area. And these men are collecting rock samples and recording a description of each one. As you can see, it isn't easy to work in these spacesuits, but we couldn't survive without them out here. For example, this faceplate is all there is between me and an absolute vacuum. If it suddenly popped out, my blood would literally boil. We carry our air in these backpacks, and our suits are temperature controlled. In fact, they're the latest thing in moon fashions. But enough of that. Now let's look at the moon. Out on the plane there, you can see one of our moon bases. Most of the living quarters and laboratories have to be underground for protection from radiation and meteorites. Of course, the moon does have its advantages too. For instance, it's a perfect observatory because there's no air. Also, gravity is only one-sixth that of Earth. And that has some very interesting effects. I know my kids back home would sure get a kick out of that. And that's not all. Watch this. Passengers aboard the People Mover continue their tour. One of the hit shows of the New York World's Fair is now in its new home in Tomorrowland, the Carousel of Progress. Like a carousel, the audience rides while the stages in this theater stand still. Man has a dream and that's the start. He follows his dream with mind and heart. And when it becomes a reality, it's a dream come true for you and me. So there's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. This audio animatronic show is a four-act play that tells the story of progress through electricity from the turn of the century to the present day. The song says there's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. And in the carousel of progress, you can get a view of tomorrow, a model city of the future. It's based on a concept developed by Walt Disney for a community he called Epcot. 
experimental prototype city of tomorrow. Realistic to the smallest detail, this animated model is a living blueprint of new ideas and systems for future cities. The concept for Epcot is one part of Walt Disney's master plan for the future Disney World in Florida. The city of tomorrow, possible today with the technology and imagination of American industry. When the People Mover moves outside Tomorrowland's buildings, it becomes a scenic highway in the sky traveling across the Magic Kingdom. in Disneyland has been the perfection of a motion picture that surrounds the viewer, placing the audience in the center of all the action. Projected on nine screens that form a circle, the show is a tour of the scenic wonders of the United States. ready for blast off. Let's follow these familiar spacemen and see. have done it again. They've broken out of formation and are headed for heaven knows where. We have a saying here in Disneyland, daytime is fun, but nighttime is magic. When the night falls and the lights come on, a special kind of enchantment seems to come over the Magic Kingdom. Disneyland after dark is filled with excitement, entertainment, and the choice is yours. Stage shows, popular bands, dancing, all the fabulous Disneyland attractions. And there's even a fireworks show every summer night at nine. Come on along, let's join the fun at Disneyland after dark.
Walt Disney's famous family of cartoon characters welcomes you to Fantasy on Parade. in Wonderland and all the marching cards. From Fantasia, the dancing toadstool. Come on in Tomorrowland. The bandstand comes out of hiding.
and gentlemen, boys and girls, wherever you are in Disneyland, the Magic Kingdom proudly presents Fantasy in the Sky. Thank <laughs> you.